Hello and welcome to Full Stack Devlogs. Today we will be talking about and explaining Redis in a very quick manner. So that just to give overview, so Redis is an in-memory data structure which can be used be as uh, which can be used as a database. This can be used as a cache, as a message broker. So there are a lot of examples like how we can like store uh, data in form of strings or hashes or list or sets and why we use redis we will try to understand in this video and the special part is that we will see how we can use and leverage the benefits of redis from node red flows so we will see this beauty today before i start i am just requesting you to subscribe to this channel the reason is that if you don't subscribe you will keep missing very important node red updates or other machine learning stuff that I have started doing. Let's begin. Now we will see how we should start working with Redis. First of all, how can we install Redis on our local machine? So let's go to this download section in redis.io website, which you see here. I will provide the link also in the description. Or you can Google it anytime. So we will be using the stable release uh, in this example. So we will download 621 after downloading it you will see that how i have kept it so it's uh, this redis 621 folder which you see here and these are the files now we will see that how we can run the server on our local that after the download portion you will see this uh, documentation on installation so please follow that to understand better and we will see that after Downloading and extracting, we can very easily call the Redis server to start the server on our local. And finally, to interact with the Redis server, we can use the Redis CLI command, which will start a CLI command line interface for us, by which we can set or get key value pairs as we like. Let's start. So let me start the Redis server. I am in the location where I should be inside the folder and I will just write redis server here and you see that redis has started running and it's ready to accept connections we make it bigger for you to see easily port is 6379 now we will test this using redis cli so we will just go in this on this path and we will say redis cli and now we will set it's showing that we can set key value so we will do it youtube value will be full stack devlogs okay now when i get using the key so i will say get youtube i will get full stack devlogs here so you see the beauty and we will be using this in memory database uh, from node red let's see that now okay so now let's begin with node red so as we have started our node red so we will see that it was very simple to start it i will show you again so i will stop my node red and i will just say node red and it starts to see how it was installed and how we run it on local uh, please watch the previous videos in this series. So this is a whole video series where I will be um, coming up regularly with uh, with interesting stuff that we can do on Node Red and the way we can use Node Red. I encourage you to watch the whole series and also to keep on getting new videos which I am making regularly. Please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any updates. Okay, so this was the previous uh, one, of, one of the Kafka examples that I've created. Do see that video and now let's 
move on and we want to see that if we have some redis nodes here and yes we will see that we have these five redis nodes uh, but is redis node a part of uh, node red by default no answer is no uh, you have to install redis nodes like this go to the manage palette go to the install section just type redis you will see this node red contrib redis redis this is the one i have installed you will see that it is showing installed here and we should not forget that as as a beginner in anything we should uh, focus on reading documentation very patiently so as we saw that we are using node red contrib redis so you can just google node red contrib redis and you will get this in the flows directory in the nodes directory uh, and here you will find its documentation and in here you will see a sample flow that they have created so let's copy this flow json let's import it now okay and you see all the blue dots obviously that means we need to deploy let's deploy so here uh, they have like been very generous to provide all the cases and examples of using different kind of redis commands from Red, uh, from node red so one of the very common thing we will know and try is that we just saw that how are we uh, we used set key value to set uh, the key as youtube and its value as full stack devlogs let's try to get youtube so that get using the key so that we get the value so we will do that using this redis get example that we see here so in the key what we will do is we will pass youtube deploy and then when you click it you see i get the message and the the topic is youtube and the payload is full stack devlogs so yes we see that how we are using node red to set or get values let's now try setting one value so this time we can send a key value like this in the payload your responsibility this is the key i will copy this key so that i can like use it for retrieving the value later and your responsibility is to subscribe is the only way we will be in touch you will not miss any of my updates and i will be motivated highly highly and highly thanks to all the current subscribers and i'm looking forward to make a huge uh, connections with all of you let's get it done and deploy now let's inject this one and it gives me just a okay which means i should understand that okay the values were saved in redis now let's get it uh so to get i will change the key here to your responsibility deploy and i see yes your responsibility is to subscribe and we can do the same from the cli we can say get your responsibility is to subscribe so that's all for now and we will keep on experimenting with redis a lot and see you in the next video thank you do like the video